Well, hello, everybody, and happy, what is today? I don't even know what today is. It's Thursday. No, it is Thursday. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> You'd think I'd write this stuff down before I start. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I was thinking, well, the garbage came today, but our garbage day is really Wednesday, so <laughs> it came a day late, so it is Thursday, because I was thinking, wait a minute, maybe it's Wednesday. But no, it's Thursday, and I don't know what the date is. November 18th, I think. <laughs> All right, so hopefully um, nobody was watching that. And uh, hey, Tracy. So anyway, I always mess up the beginning, but that's okay. Y'all got a good laugh out of it. So anyway, today I'm bringing you a really fun project. It is this beautiful, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, vintage, shabby chic looking journal. It's really a notepad, but I'm calling it a journal. And it is so beautiful. Hey, Carol. And we're gonna be making that today. This is one of the projects that we did in my stamp class this morning. And I have another stamp class tonight at seven and another one tomorrow. So we're gonna be making lots of these. And uh, everybody loved it this morning. So I wanted to do a video and I'm gonna be doing a video on all the projects that we're doing in class. So um, they're all really fun. One of them is a bit, uh, I don't know the word. <laughs> uh aggravating <laughs> because somebody gave me this gift as a birthday present and the directions were online and I went to get the directions and I started making it the other day and all the directions were wrong all the measurements were wrong nothing was coming out right so I had to redo the whole thing so that was a little frustrating for me and then I ordered the wrong size magnets for it so anyway hey Mary how you doing so anyway we're gonna um turn this down I just wanted to say hello show my face because I'm actually dressed and wearing makeup and have my hair halfway done so I'm looking pretty good today <laughs> so let me turn the camera down and I will show you exactly what you need to make this project hold on one second let me flip it wait a minute the buttons are not on here hold on why is nothing on here we don't have our buttons on the screen like normal Oh, I see it. It's down at the bottom. Okay, now we got it. We're going to flip down. And hopefully we'll get this straight. I just love technology. And i got to get my computer going, too. Let me see if I've got everybody on here. Including myself. Yep, there I am. All right, so we're good. So, this is what we're making. And let me push this up just a little bit. And get it straight. Now my computer's not doing anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just so much fun. All right. Okay, so this is what you need. So we're making this, and let me just set it to the side for a minute. So you need um, a notepad. This is a five by eight, just a standard um, kind of miniature notepad, not, not as big as the eight and a half by 11. So it's like a junior notepad, I think it's called. And then you need a piece of Blushing Bride, 10 and a quarter by eight, and I've scored it at five and five and a quarter. So it's really a big sheet, and I've already scored it at five and five and a quarter, and then just folded it. So that's gonna go around our notepad. And then we've got a piece of seven and three quarters by four and three quarters vanilla. A piece of five by two designer series paper from Harvest Meadows. So this has those trees and stuff on, on the back. This is a piece of four and three quarters, let me put it on here, by one and a half Blushing Bride. And I don't, oh, here we go. I'm crooked as all get out. Let me fix that a little bit and move it over. Hey, Pamela. So then we've got one more piece right here, two and a half by a quarter vanilla. And that is the die punched out of the scalloped contours dies. So that's all you need. And we're gonna make this gorgeous project. So get a screenshot of that if you wanna make it. Hey, Rusty. And then we'll get started. I'm still crooked. All right, and I'll take these off. This is really easy. It's just a lot of stamping, but not hard at all. So we're gonna start, let's start by putting this on the thing right here. All right, so all you wanna do is put some glue right here. I'll get my green glue. I always like the green glue for gluing stuff down when you wanna make sure it stays there. All right, this feels like it's full, but there's nothing coming out. 
And I'm going to squirt it and a big blob is going to come out. Let's see. Come on. All right, this thing is full and it's not coming out. It must be clogged up. Oh, okay, we're going to try another one. Hold on. <laughs> I hope this is not how my whole video is going to go. All right, let's try. Oops, almost put it on the wrong side there. All right, this one's working. Okay, so then you're going to stick this down right just below that paper so you don't see the paper. And just let it sit there for just a minute until it sticks really good. And then we're just going to pinch right here along the seam. And still let that sit for just a minute. All right, then we're going to wrap it around to the back. And on the back, you're going to put it on the actual paper instead of on the pad itself. Let me put some right up to the edge. All right, then you're going to fold this over and pull it tight. And just pull it and then give it a good score with like right between your finger and your thumb, your index finger. Give it a good score and give it a good rub down. And then flip it back over. Give that a good pinch right there. So there you go. So that's the inside. And we're done with that. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and glue the whole thing together. All right, so here's our piece of paper. And this was 10, what was it, 10 and a quarter? I already forgot. 10 and a quarter by 8. Scored at 5 and 5 and a quarter. So it's going to go in here like this. And you want it, this paper is a little bit too big, isn't it? Let me see if I got some scissors so we can trim it off a little bit. Hopefully I can cut straight since it's already down here. I just want to get that little sliver off. And there we go. All right, so we've got that trimmed. And this is going to go right in here like this. And we want to put the glue on the back of our notepad. So we're just going to put that all along the edge but not really gloppy. You don't want it to glop up in there and ooze out. All right, hey Sharon, hey Diane, hey Wanda. So then you're just gonna close it, pull it tight, give it a good press. Make sure we've got it straight, yep. All right, and press that down really good. And there you go. So now you've got your notepad on there. So now we're going to decorate the front. So we've got this piece of vanilla here. And let me get my scrap paper. So we're going to be doing like a one sheet wonder kind of thing. So I'm just going to be stamping all over the whole thing until it comes out just the way we like it. So we're going to start with Sahara Sand. And this is the um, Birch background stamp. So we're just going to ink this up very, very lightly. So I'm not doing it really... A lot. Alright, so we've got some ink on there. And then let me move that out of the way. Alright, what we're gonna do is just take our paper and lay it down on here and give it a good press like that, not too bad. And then I've still got the bottom to do, so I'm gonna just lay this step back down, give that a press, get some more, and then if you miss the edges, just do the edges. And let's get the other edge on there. So it doesn't have to be straight or anything because it's going to be covered with a lot of other stuff. All right, so I want this to be my top part. So let's get this out of the way. Okay, now we're going to go to the words. So for the words, I'm going to be using gray granite. So we've got gray granite. And these are the words from Very Versailles. And we're going to be stamping off. So I'm going to ink it up, stamp it off. And then put it like right at the top corner. Give it a good press. Oh, it's getting a little bit dry. Maybe we don't even need to stamp off anymore. I'll just really lightly stamp off. Put one over here. Yeah, I don't think we need to stamp off because it's getting a little bit dry from using it in a class, I think. All right, so I'm not going to stamp off anymore. So there we go. We've got the words all over. And then... We're also going to take these little words and put them on our little um, die cut. 
and we'll put them right in the middle hopefully because I didn't bring an extra one if I mess up so if we mess up I'm in trouble so there we go pretty good pretty good all right so we're done with gray now we're going to move on to let me see green so we're going to be doing mossy meadow with the leaves these are also from very versailles move that out of the way so we're going to ink up these leaves and you could do this exact same thing as a one sheet wonder for a whole sheet instead of this is just basically a half a sheet of cardstock so i'm going to start at the top and kind of bring these over and oops i meant to stamp that off darn it okay we're going to stamp the next ones off because we want it really light and stamp it off and then put some from from the bottom going up like that stamp off again and we'll do some like that way and maybe let's do one from the side a little bit all right so we just have that dark one but that's all right just remember to stamp off because you don't want it too dark on there so lisa goofed but that's okay i'm not perfect all right, so next color we're gonna go to is the Blushing Bride. So we've got two things in Blushing Bride. This is from the Peony stamp set. And this one is from, oh, I forgot to show you that too. So we're using Prized Peony. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. And we're using this stamp. And then we're also using Quiet Meadow. This is the speckly stamp we're using. And then very Versailles, we're doing the leaves and the words and those words too. So these three stamps are the ones that you need for this project. Okay. And then, um, oh, I forgot I got a couple card giveaways too. So hold up, we'll stop just a second. So the winner of this card is Debbie Chebitar. Debbie, you won this beautiful snowman card. So I will give you that card. And this one was Angie Cosme, I think is how you say it. Um, you won this card, so send me your address and I'll stick it in the mail to you. So congratulations to you girls. And now we'll get back to stamping. All right, so we're going to go back on this one with the Blushing Bride. And I just re-inked this because it was getting really dry in class. So I'm going to go full strength. Hopefully it's not going to be too dark. But we're just going to put these all over. And I want to kind of put two together like that and a couple over here and ink it up each time because you don't want it um, really light because then it won't show up. Let's put one there and maybe one there. And then we're going to do a couple just like on the edge. So they're kind of coming off. So like anywhere that you've messed up, you can kind of cover that with the stamp. And we're also going to do the butterfly and that is a good one to cover too. And then also on my um, words here, I'm going to stamp this and I'm going to stamp it off and then stamp right on top of that. So then you get a really nice subtle um, peony behind the words. So we'll just leave that there for a sec. All right, we've also got the sprinkle stamp. And this one's going to go all over the top and I'm not going to stamp this one off either. So, but the key with the sprinkle stamps, I, I know a lot of people are very heavy handed and they want to go like this and they sit here and just, you can hear it. If you can hear it, then you're doing it too hard. So you just want to tap it very lightly and then just touch it, just barely touch the paper and you get your really pretty sprinkles. If you go too hard, then you're going to get this mushed up mess all over and you don't want them to be dark you want them to be kind of subtle and they're just beautiful so we'll just put a couple more of those all right so that's good and then we're going to move on to the butterfly so we're done with the blushing bride that was blushing bride and i'm not cleaning my stamp so i don't want to touch them over here all right now we're moving on to misty moonlight for the butterfly Oh, I forgot. You do need the butterfly stamp set. It's butterfly, I think butterfly bouquet or butterfly brilliance. I can't remember which one it is. One is the bundle. One is the stamp set. All right, we're going to stamp off for this. 
So stamp off. I've got something sticky. I'm gonna turn it over. And we're gonna just do the butterflies wherever you've got some space still. Oh, it's on this. I got a little booger on here. Not a real booger, but a sticky booger from the glue that I took off. I was wondering why I was sticking. All right, stamp it off and then stamp another one. And oops, I should have made that go the other, right, the other direction. And it doesn't matter if you go on top of anything. Try not to go on top of the flowers though. All right, so now we've got um, like five butterflies on there. So those are gorgeous. And then we're done with the blue. Now we're gonna do some sponging. So we've got yellow and the yellow is so, so saffron. Oh, let's see. Hey, Diane and Diane. Hey, Diane. You need to turn this off because you're going to get to make this tomorrow. So you shouldn't be watching. Then you won't be surprised. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and sponge a little bit of yellow over the flowers. Make sure you tap it off because you don't want it super dark on there. And that's just going to give it a little bit of color and kind of make them pop and make it a little bit vintagey. We're going to sponge some crumb cake on here too. So there you go. I'm going to put a little bit on this, the words too. All right. So words are done. This is done. Now we've got to do the crumb cake. So we've got our crumb cake. This is the old pad. And we're just going to tap that off, put a little bit on here, but try not to go over the flowers. So we're going to go around our flowers because we don't want to muck up the yellow. So I'm just going to go around those and give it a vintagey look. Oh, I've got to sponge one more thing I forgot about. So on the front, we've got this piece that I um, embossed with the Parisian Flourish. So we're going to actually emboss, uh, not emboss it, sponge it. And that's just going to make our little swirls pop out. So they'll show up better. All right, so that looks good. Whenever you want to make something vintage, you just sponge it with crumb cake and kind of rip the edges and all that stuff. All right, we've also got some ribbon here. This is the vanilla, very vanilla scallop lace trim. So it's really pretty. It's like crocheted kind of looking. Um, we used to have one that was called crocheted trim that was really similar, but this is scallop trim. And I've got a piece of that, which is, uh, I'd say this is five inches. So this is probably seven inches approximately. All right, we're going to glue that down to the front, right around the middle. And I did cut this a little bit longer just because sometimes when you emboss things, it kind of shrinks it up a little bit. So if you cut it exactly the, the same as this was five inches, this was actually, wait a minute, not five inches. It was four and three quarters. So if you cut it exactly four and three quarters, then emboss it, it tends to shrink up a little bit. And then you're going to have just a gap on the edges. So I just cut it a little bit bigger and um, then I can just trim it off the edges. So I'm going to glue this down with the green glue. Oops. And, um, oh, Diane says, that's okay. I just made no, oh, Nacho Mama's banana pudding for class tomorrow. Oh, so we're having a potluck tomorrow in class. And um, Diane is who's on here and she's bringing banana pudding which is my favorite dessert of all times and she's making that Paula Deen Nacho Mama's banana pudding that's to die for so I am already drooling thinking about that and I don't know why your comment is not dark like everybody else's that's weird I've got glue on my fingers now all right so this is going to go right across the middle or if you messed up, you could put it up or down a little bit. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to stick it right on the middle. So I'm going to line it up with one edge. Actually, I'm not because this is kind of in the middle. So I'm going to go back a little bit this way and center it. Okay. And give it a good press. And then we're just going to flip it over and um, trim it. 
So I'll just trim this off. I never did find my scissors from the other day. I still don't know where they are. So I had to get a new pair out. And I swear I was sitting, after um, my class left, I was eating lunch. I made, I had this really good spinach salad from Sam's. I think I've told you guys about it. It's delicious. It has, it comes like in this big tray where the prepared foods are. And it's spinach, and then it's got blueberries, walnuts, and feta cheese on top. And then um, it's big enough to make like three or four salads, big like meals out of and I put rotisserie chicken and um, strawberries on top too and then they give you this really good dressing but they don't give you enough because it's only enough for like two salads and it makes um, more, way more than that so I always add this strawberry poppy seed dressing to it but anyway I was sitting there and I was gonna watch you know one of my TV shows I taped and I'm looking all over for the remote control. I'm looking everywhere. I can not find it. I'm looking in the couch. I'm tearing the couch apart. So I'm sitting at my coffee table because I have one of those that like raises up and you can like sit there and eat. And so here's my salad. Here's the remote control. And I'm searching everywhere. Can't find it. Can't find it. And I'm like, what happened to the remote control? The whole entire time it's sitting this right here, like next to my plate. And I didn't see it. For like 15 minutes, I searched for it and I couldn't find it. And I'm like, oh my God, I think I'm really going nuts. Because how can you just not see something when it's sitting right in front of you? I don't understand. <laughs> do you guys do that? You know, like when you search for your glasses everywhere and they're on top of your head. All right, so you want to put that kind of low towards the bottom of your pink. And I'm just going to take a little bit of tape right here. And pull that up because it's kind of pulling down a little bit and this is going to be covered because I've got this going there so that's going to go right on top and we're going to put that on with some dimensionals let me get that scrap paper out of the way so get a couple dimensionals I think I need to refresh this because the comments are not coming through hold on let me just refresh this page I can see more comments on my phone than I see on the screen. Okay. Nope. That didn't help any. Weird. That's so weird. Because I can see more on the screen. I don't know. Very strange. Alright, so put a couple. Actually, let's put three on here. And then peel them off. So we're having this potluck lunch tomorrow, which I can't wait for. We're having stuffed shells, homemade bread, um, the banana pudding, um, salad, and a fruit salad. All sorts of good stuff. It's one of my favorite groups coming. Can't wait. All right, so then we're going to, um, oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? We're going to distress this. So I don't want to use my new scissors because these are actually brand new scissors I just opened today. So we're going to grab my old yucky scissors and you can do this with your fingernail if you want to, but I think with scissors it's easier. So you just go down the edge. I got to be careful here because the ribbon's already down. So I should have done this before I put the ribbon on. And you're just going across. If it rips a little bit, that's no big deal because that makes it look even more vintagey. So anytime I have like a shabby sheet card, I try to do this technique. Just don't cut yourself. So make sure you use like an old pair of scissors that are not super sharp. You can also use like a um, sanding tool or a nail file or something like that. All right, it makes a bunch of fuzz. So let's get rid of that. Get the mess off. All right, now you can see how that looks really pretty. It's like all distressed around the edge. And I got mess everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this down to the front with your green glue. Put some glue over the ribbon just to make sure you've got it extra secure in there. And then we'll put that down on the front. You know what I should have done is added some um, pearls or something on here. That would have been pretty. And Christina, who was in class this morning, she suggested like laminating 
this before you put it down so then it wouldn't get messed up like if you had it in your bag or something. All right, and then I like to go down and just curl up kind of some of the edges here. And you can use your fingernails kind of on the side and pull it towards you and just kind of curl it, make it look kind of raggedy. If you don't like that look, then that's okay. You don't have to do it. It's your notebook or journal, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, we got more comments now. Hey, Susan. You said, oh, yummy. <laughs> Coming in late, just got home from work. I know. I can't wait. And you know, I'm trying to be on a diet because my pants are so tight. I have to wear a uniform to work every day, like scrubs. And um, they are elastic, but it's getting to the point where they're just like really tight. And so I've been trying to really eat well. And I'm having like a salad every day. And then for dinner, I have like a protein shake. And... For breakfast, I have cereal with strawberries on top, which is not super, the cereal's pretty healthy, but I know it's got carbs and stuff in it. But I'm eating pretty good, and I haven't had ice cream in, let me see, almost a month, I think. I haven't had any ice cream, so I'm being really good that way. But I'm not losing any weight, so I don't know what's going on. But All right, we're going to put some Wink of Stella on here, so we're going to sprinkle. Let me get something to hit it on. Oh, I forgot to mention today um, is the last day of the big sale. So remember, cardstock is 10% um, off, ink pads are 15% off, and the dies are 20% off. So the cardstock comes out to, I think, $7 and I think $7.85, something like that. The ink pads come out to $6.37, I think, and the dies just depends on what the price is, but. So, today's the last day. You've only got a few hours left if you want to take advantage of the sale. And also, if you've been thinking about signing up or buying the starter kit, it's not coming out very good. Oh, yeah, now it is. Um, the starter kit's on sale for $75. So, you get $125 of product for only $75. And you could take advantage of the sale prices, too. So, you can get a whole bunch more than normal and get more bang for your buck. But that's only good um, through today. The starter kit special is good all month, but the sale ends today. So um, here's my stamps, the website, stampingwithlisa.com. There's the host code. Make sure you put the host code in. Um, if you put the host code in, you get um, special gifts from me. So if your order is $50 or more, you'll get gifts. If it's under 50, you do get a thank you card. Um, and that's before shipping and tax. So, um, all the information's there. It's on my website, too, so if you go there, you can see it. And if you're on YouTube watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and guess what? I just hit 6,000 subscribers this morning, so I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and for leaving all your nice comments and all the likes and shares and everything, because that helps me out. So, there you go. What do you think? So we have two beautiful, this one's a little bit darker because I re-inked the pads and messed up on that, but I think they came out pretty good. Oh, Diane says, <laughs> you know I'd not be distressing my paper. <laughs> Thanks, Peg. How, how are you doing? Um, let me see. Diane, other Diane says, Wahoo, Lisa. We have two Dianes on here. All right. So I'm so glad you guys like it. If you're coming to class tonight or tomorrow, you will get to make this in class. Um, I do have a couple openings left for tonight. So if anybody's local and wants to come, I have a couple spaces left. So, oh, you're doing great, Peg. That is awesome. All right, so I will see you later. I've got another video tutorial coming on Saturday. So we'll be doing um, another project from class. Um, and I hope you will love it. I hope you love this. Make sure you leave a comment. This one I'm not giving away. It's too hard to put in the mail. But I've got some more cards to give away on Saturday. If I don't forget. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you, Peg. Um, give me some thumbs up and some hearts if you love it. And I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.